Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. It's currently 4 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head out to the train station on my way to St. Petersburg. And I decided to take you guys with me so that we can try to see together just how many places in the city we can visit within the span of 12 hours. So I'll see you there soon. All right, so it's 4.45 and I'm in the center of Moscow right now near the Komsomolska metro station. And I'm actually between three train stations. I'm between the Yaroslavsky Vokzal, the Leningradsky Vokzal, which is actually going to take me to St. Petersburg, and one more, the uh, Kazansky Vokzal. So I'll show them to you guys right now. It's actually a little bit exciting for me. I haven't gone by train anywhere in such a long time. I'm so used to taking my car everywhere I go. I the only one that gets excited like a little kid when he sees a, uh, a train. I don't know if it's something that you really get over. Uh, so this is the Subsan bullet train and it should take me to St. Petersburg in a little bit over three hours. And at the, at the height of it I think it's going to be going something, something around 250 kilometers. So I'm going to be boarding shortly so I'll show you guys the, the interior. Alright, so this is nice. It's kind of like business class on an, on an airplane, very similar. I think this should be an interesting experience. Okay, and we're off. Дамы и господа, просим приготовить для проверки билеты и прослушать необходимую информацию. We're just up to 200 kilometers now. It's a little shaky. Okay, so I'm in St. Petersburg, the northern capital of Russia. Now, Moscow and St. Pete, they, they typically kind of fight over which is the actual real capital of Russia, which I find to be funny because in reality, I can think of about 10 cities far to the east of, of, of both Moscow and St. Pete that would probably be a lot more deserving of the title but but nonetheless it is pretty fun to uh, to visit either one of these cities and to kind of take a look at their peculiarities all right so I just left the train station and the ride over here was interesting to say the least I, I, I don't think I've ever been inside of a quieter room full of people in my life. And I, I wanted to film something out the window a little bit, but it was just too dark. Rest assured that I was going about 250 kilometers an hour most of the way over here, so pretty exciting. Now I'm going to go check out the city, or at least what I can manage to check out right now, given the uh, weather and time constraints I have. So I have less than 12 hours here. Um, I think I have about 10 hours remaining before I have to head back home, so... We'll see. We'll see how much I manage to cram in.
that's it. I'm headed back to Moscow. So 45,000 steps and 32 kilometers is all it took to, to see all of St. Petersburg in one day. 10 hours, by the way, which I spent filming all of these, all of these little video segments that you guys just watched. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found them as relaxing and beautiful as I did while I was filming them. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.